everybody, I'm Tim Donnelly. We are in the coach's office here at the Extreme Eye Center of the Charlotte Rush. Of course, the Extreme Eye Center, the home of the Charlotte Rush. It's our video Wednesday, Wednesday, October the 10th. We're going to talk Charlotte Rush Elite Hockey now with Charlotte Rush Elite Assistant Coach Lenny Childs. Uh, head Coach John Turner's under the weather. So uh, Lenny has agreed to fill in. Lenny, thanks a lot for that. Uh, you know all about this elite team, though. You're on the bench all the time, of course. But first of all, uh, what did you do over the weekend with your time off, you and John? And then also uh, this rare uh, early season bye week. What did you tell the players you wanted them to do this weekend? Yeah, for us, uh, the coaching staff just just uh, kind of got prepared for the next week, just kind of business as usual. Uh, players are we're doing a little bit of team building this weekend and, and coming into this week. We wanted them to be rested, focused for obviously the showcase. So, um, you know, four games in, in that small amount of time for a showcase, like they needed that break after it, we crushed them in practice. And then, uh, um, you know, they're back at it again this week. Great to rock. And, of course, uh, the uh, Charlotte Rush Elite team during the showcase won three of four. Good job there. Uh, stumbled a little bit in that last game, but against a very good Richmond team. It's in first place in that elite division right now. Yeah, they're a really good team, and, and obviously we're, we're the ones that uh, that gave them their, their only loss of the year, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to be a battle. And uh, I think for us it was a under, understanding a few things that we uh, that we need to get better at, and, and those are good things to, to find out early in the year. Uh, so now we, we can take care of those and kind of keep rolling. Lenny Childs, assistant coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite, filling in for John Turner, who's under the weather and not being able to be with us on this video Wednesday. I want to talk about the upcoming showcase event in suburban Chicago. And Lenny, just joking around, I was looking at this place. It's Romeoville, Illinois, which is about 35 miles southwest of Chicago. But there's a Joliet, Illinois, which to me is close enough to Juliet, Illinois. you got Romeoville and Juliet, uh, Kind of funny, isn't it? You got your own love story right there in Chicago. <laughs> it's it awesome. Yeah, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of funky places for uh, Elgin, Illinois, and all that yeah. stuff, too. So, yeah, crazy. Yeah, I was just uh, thinking on the way over how cool it would have been to play this uh, showcase event in Romeoville on Valentine's Day weekend late in the season. But that didn't happen. But, Lenny, you and the guys are heading up to uh, Romeoville, New York, I mean, uh, Illinois, suburban Chicago, for this big four-game showcase. And uh, you're going to play a game on Friday, two on Saturday, and one on Sunday. But for you and John... Having to coach four games on a Saturday, that, that that's a lot for you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got to get prepared uh, earlier here. So that's why we've been doing a lot this week to, to make sure we're ready to go so we can just kind of go from game to game. And uh, the guys will know the, the plans before that. So we uh, should be able to go on there and just bring the energy and let them roll. Well, you're going to play two teams from Florida, the Florida Junior Blades and also the Florida Eels. But then we're going to play two teams that are already in our division. Lenny, my guess is you and John would probably prefer to play teams out of the division. True? False? Uh, you know what? Uh, obviously, games are games, but it would, would be awesome to see uh, other teams as well, just to give us a test to see what, what we can do to, mm -hmm. to try and maneuver. But uh, knowing, to, knowing these teams, right, Like it's it's not a battle of guys being prepared and ready to, to bring out the plan that we have uh, set for for them. So um, just, just how it rolls, and we'll, we're going to roll with it. All right, and again, uh, the Florida teams, the Junior Blades and Eels, have you been able to scout them? Do you kind of want to see a little bit about them or just pretty much get your guys ready to go and go out and play? Yeah, we always take a look at, at teams to make sure that, you know, we're, we're prepared for what they bring. Um, we don't want any surprises going into games. So, uh, yeah, we've taken a look at them and, and, and uh, saw what they what they have to offer and how we can maneuver our uh, system, our tactics around what they do to be able to just to make sure that we're in a, in a tip-top shape. So, yeah, we should be in a good spot. Then, of course, we play a game against the Carolina Eagles. We've played them a couple of times uh, this season. And then a team that's in our division, but we haven't played yet, the Potomac Patriots. So we'll get our first look at them. Obviously, we pretty much know the Carolina Eagles team, but we will get our first look at uh, Potomac before we play them in division play. Yeah, Potomac, young team, uh, but but they, they good coaching down there, and, and they uh, up there. And uh, they do a good job, so it'll be, it'll be a test for sure. Lenny Childs graciously filling in for John Turner to talk about Charlotte Rush Elite Hockey today. John, under the weather, we'll pray for him to get back uh, to his 100% normal self. Well, uh, Lenny, you and John, were it's still very early in the season. The Charlotte Rush Elite with a record of 4-3. and three. They're right in the thick of things in the Southeast Division. But do you guys look at the standings this early in the season? Some coaches like, hey, I'm not going to look at anything until later on. Some coaches, they're looking at it every day. What's your take, you and John, on uh, looking at those standings right now? 
we're, we're obviously aware, but we know there's just a lot of games, right, and a lot of a lot of season left. So for us, it's really really focused on the on the team aspect and getting us to a to a new level. Um, we take by game by game basis. Like we, we definitely take a look and see where where mm-hmm. the landscape is, but you know that changes kind of all the time, obviously. Sure. And Lenny, out of the normal bumps and bruises, how will the elite team physically come into the showcase tournament in suburban Chicago? We're going to come in fresh. That, that big uh, bye week is huge for us to, to get back to a to a level of freshness and, and health. And uh, I think our guys are, are, are feeling really good and practicing and look high tempo. So I think we're, we're all fresh, ready to go. Well, Lenny, it's been a good start for both teams, the Premier and the Elite. I know the Elite's a young team. I think they're going to get better and better as the season goes on. They struggled a little bit early, now winning some games. So we look forward to good success for you and the Rush in this showcase event. And we'll look forward to chatting next Wednesday when you guys get back and we can uh, get all the insights on the uh, showcase there in suburban Chicago. Uh, Safe travels and uh, good success this coming weekend. Thanks, Tim. I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, that's Lenny Childs. Assistant coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite, but filling in for John Turner today. And Lenny, thanks again for that. Well, again, the Rush in suburban Chicago this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For all the happenings, go to our Charlotte Rush website. You can also go to our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also our Charlotte Rush YouTube channels. We put videos up there regularly. Hope you'll go to that site and see what's happening with the Charlotte Rush as well. Well, I'm Tim Donnelly on this video Wednesday, Wednesday, October the 10th. I want to thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.